right, well, we finally were able to get the impeller off. As you saw, it took a little bit more work than what we had expected, but a little bit of heat, or a lot of heat in this case, we got it off. So now what we're doing is removing the seal so that we can replace the seal and then get the new impeller installed. Once we get the seal out, we'll work on cleaning this up a little bit in the process. Um, so right now we're just gonna try to get this seal out. I'm gonna see, I got a small puller here, small bearing puller. I'm gonna get on, hopefully I can get on here and, and get the rest of the seal out and we'll just uh, kind of take it one step at a time. All right, well we got the front pieces of the seal out. We just managed to dig them out just using a screwdriver and a scraper real uh, rudimentary. Uh, so now to get the ceramic side of the seal out, we're gonna take this housing off or, or the motor bracket off so that it can come out and it'll make it easier to clean this up before we put everything back together. So we've just got four bolts here. So we'll get these four bolts undone. Scoot that back so it doesn't fall on my toe. And so once we get this off, we'll be right back. All right, so we just kind of hit that with the dead blow. We're able to knock that loose. So now, you can see we did have the shaft was all busted. Now that could have been the heat that did that, but when you're replacing a impeller on a pump like this, you just, you want to replace the seal while you're at it. Especially when you have to go through that much work to get it off. So before I tear that rubber cup out, let's make sure that comes with a new one. So we're going to work this guy out. All right, done deal. Now we're ready to clean this up. One area I'm really focusing on is uh, the seal face here. I'm gonna try to get that as clean as I can. This area doesn't really matter a lot, but the area where the shaft seal goes, I'll spend a little time on as well. And you might be wondering why I'm using a drill. Our air compressor is currently having problems right now, so I don't have air power available. Gotta use the battery. This red stuff you see here is uh, that liquid gasket stuff that you've probably seen me use in previous videos when you got to make your own gasket. I'm imagining that they were having some leaks at one point and realized their gasket was bad so they put some of this in there to get them through. About as good as it's going to get. Okay, so now that we've got the, uh, the, the motor bracket cleaned up here, we went ahead and hit that with just a small wire brush to get it cleaned up the rest of the way, so at least that rubber will go in there. It doesn't have to be machine perfect because it is a rubber uh, cup that holds that, so you have a little bit of play in that. But what we're gonna have to do next is come over here. Uh, we're gonna have to hit this with some emery cloth to just clean the shaft up. Um, and just make it nice and smooth and we want to clean that up so that our impeller is going to be able to slide on there really easily uh, and we aren't going to have as tough a time getting it on as we did getting it off. So that's our next step. All right now we got that shaft all shined up looking good. Let's go ahead and just dry fit our impeller before we start putting everything back together shaft seal and everything just to make sure it's going to be a good fit. Perfect, that's exactly what we're looking for. So I think we're ready to start putting this pump back together. Okay, so we'll get started by putting the uh, uh, shaft coupling in, or the uh, shaft seal seat in here, the rubber cup with the ceramic side. We'll get this slid on and bolted up um, and then we'll move on to the rest of the shaft seal followed with the impeller and then the retaining nut. Uh, we should be good to go. So let's get to it. Going to get some gloves on so that I don't get our brand new shaft seal covered with the same stuff that's on my hands. So we've got that right here. So I'll get some gloves. All right. 
So the first piece of the puzzle is going to be the ceramic side right here. Nice, beautiful ceramic. Now what we're going to do, since this isn't perfect, is um, we're going to use a little bit of Loctite in here uh, around this gasket. That way if there is any imperfections that would potentially cause some leaking, that Loctite isn't going to cause any problems with interference or performance because it always stays uh, somewhat viscous in this situation. Uh, and it's just going to help the sealing. So we're going to do that now. So I'm just running some along the outside. Don't want to get too silly with it. All right, that should be good. We just got a nice bead going all the way around. That'll also help to lubricate it as we're dropping this into place. And for pushing on it, I'm just gonna use this so then I don't chance getting it dirty at all. Just feel all around, just kinda of try to push down somewhat evenly. Remember, these things are quite brittle. So you push too hard in one spot, it'll break. That looks pretty good. It looks like it could come down a little bit on this side. So I'm gonna push down on it just a little more. So when we look on this side, we're looking to see that, there's something to point with. We're looking to see that this is flush all the way around up against right here. And it does look like we could come up or come down this way a little bit on that side. My clean paper towel is not as clean anymore. But the rest of it looks really good. So basically this top section, I need to apply some more force. All right, I think that ought to do. So now, we're ready to gently slide this back on and then bolt it on. So I'm gonna get a couple of bolts started, then we'll tap it in with the dead blow. I just wanted the bolts in there just so that we can Make sure it's lined up. Hammer time. Okay, we got it started. Start snugging these bolts up. We're ready for the other half of our seal. Right there. And I think on this side, Pull that back off of there. It's a little snug, so I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of lubrication in there real quick. Taking care not to get any on the actual carbon itself. And it looks like we're flush. Put our spring in, our cap on, and then when we get the impeller on there, that's gonna compress that the rest of the way, and it should seat really nicely. Just like so. Now we gotta figure out what we did with the nut. All right, so we're back here. We got the impeller mounted once again. Uh, we did have to use a tap and die set to clean out these holes a bit. They were just so bad we couldn't get the original bolt back in there. So now we're gonna see if we can get it, the bolt started and get this thing tightened up. So bolt's biting, so we just need to grab our socket and uh, tighten this guy on there. All right, moment of truth here. See if we can get this nice and tight. We still have any threads left. Hopefully we do. Worst case scenario, 
If we would have gotten into a situation where those threads were destroyed, we would have had to basically <clears throat> drill the shaft out, step up the bolt size, and then re-tap it with larger threads, uh, which is not what you want to do. You're adding a bunch more labor. So hopefully we can get this nice and tight. You know, I should put some thread lock on this now that I'm thinking about it. I'm gonna pull this back out. We're just gonna put some thread lock on here because I'll show you, because the WD-40 is still in there. The threads only probably go about, I don't know where the focus is at, probably only go about a little over a quarter of an inch. So I wanna make sure this thing isn't gonna come off. So we're gonna hit a little thread locker on there, which that's pretty common to use in these types of pumps. just to keep your threads engaged and whatnot. All right. Now we'll probably have better luck. It's about as tight as I can get her. So now we've got our gasket here. That fits perfect. We got the area nice and cleaned out for that. And then we'll be able to put our volute back on. And I don't think you guys have seen the volute yet. Maybe we did show it earlier, but it's a monster. That's a big sucker. We're gonna have to clean this up though. There's a bunch of that uh, fake gasket or liquid gasket stuff here. And I think that's gonna interfere with our natural gasket. So I wanna get that all cleaned up and out of there real quick. All right guys, well, uh, we went ahead and got the volute bolted on. Everything was great. You saw the impeller was spinning. I know you saw it, but guess what? Now nothing is spinning at all. We got everything bolted down, looking beautiful. Um, sorry we didn't show all that. It was a lot of heavy lifting and grunting and I kind of needed the cameraman's help. So anyways, what I think we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to take this volute back off of here and essentially run a file around this lip here to get all this excess paint that the person put on here um, so that we can get this thing rotating again otherwise we're going to have some serious problems because right now i can't turn it by hand and that is a problem so we're going to hoist this up see what we can do to clear some space in there so that we can get this pump rotating again or the impeller rotating again um, so we'll get it hoisted up and uh, we'll see if we can't show you some more as we go along so I did hit it with this wire brush. It wasn't making much of a difference. So I'm just gonna take this grinder and start trying to smooth this out and kind of get some of this paint and crap off of there and uh, some of the rust buildup and so forth. We'll reassemble the pump and hopefully we can get the impeller to rotate so we can get the pump back to the customer. So we're gonna get to it. All right, well, it looks like mission success here. That grinding, you can see we got a nice pile of goodies that we knocked off of there over here. Um, but anyways, she rotates. Whereas before, all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't get that to rotate. So, I would call that a success. So, we're gonna tighten the rest of these bolts up and call it a day. Sorry we didn't have a whole heck of a lot more to show you, but at least you got to kind of see the end of it. And uh, that's it for today. We'll catch you next time.